just recommending that you can remove, that would be great if you can remove the shoes. Also try to relax. Keep your hands open in your lap. Like you squeezing. We become here small universes that want to be open to communicate with others through energy. Yes? So we want to receive. Or we can compare ourselves with the flowers that want to blossom, want to open up. So all the qualities, the beauty, the fragrance will start flowing, being expressed, as well what what the flower needs. It needs to be nurtured from all the elements, light, uh, all the elements, yes? So let's relax ourselves a little bit and open, open ourselves. That would be very, very good. We keep our hands open, receiving and giving, allowing to flow this energy through us. Okay. Now, Arcelan is here. Just before we start with this meditation, I will invite here Debbie. Debbie, where are you? Debbie, come, 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 come. <laughs> Something that we do at our class is that each of us each of us become a very good friend <coughs> with each other. We are very close to each other and we all learn from each other. So recently um, we have quite beautiful, beautiful meditation classes with Debbie. So I'm asking Debbie, Debbie, if you can say a few words about yourself. Okay. Yes. And if you can very briefly um, just introduce all of us to the basic notions that we are using in our meditation. Basic. Okay? Thank you. Hello everybody, my name is Debbie and I have been coming to Sahaja Yoga for about a year and a half now. Um, how I came across Sahaja Yoga, um, doing some volunteer work here and I saw the um, the advertisement on the bulletin board, and I thought, okay, Sahaja Yoga. I thought it related to a lot of physical exercises, and um, I was uh, going through a very challenging time in my life, um, dealing with a lot of stress, dealing with a lot of different challenges, and um, my sister actually thought. Uh, because she does yoga, um, stretching and exercise, and she said, Deb, try it, it'll be good for you. So, a few months passed, and I did absolutely nothing. And uh, she called me again, and she's like, did you call, did you call? I'm like, no, I did She says, please call. So I called, and I remember speaking to Iwana, and um, she told me how great it's going to be, and... Um, I said, okay, let me try it. I came, my first class, and first of all, I was very surprised because it had nothing to do with physical exercises. It was much deeper than that. Um, and it took me to a place that I think I have been searching for for a long time. And um, I found that place. And... Um, I find for myself that um, Sahaja Yoga has made me a much more peaceful individual. And it has balanced out my life very well. Um, not only have I made some really great friends here, they're like my family as well, but it has taught me so many beautiful, wonderful lessons. And it taught me really how to be a better person, not to myself, but to others as well. And how to utilize this beautiful knowledge that has been passed down to us by our teacher, our mother, Sri Mataji. She is the founder of Sahaja Yoga. And um, basically, for me, um, this is a journey. It is a journey. It is, um, it teaches you, um, like I say, 
to become balanced, to become more peaceful, to become a better person overall. And it also helps you, it gives you the tools and it gives you all the instruments you need to help you work through challenges in life. Whatever problems may come our way, it's uh, a very beautiful um, tool that Sri Mataji has provided to us. Um, our subtle system um, consists of basically uh, three channels. Um, the left side, the left channel, which represents our past, it represents our emotions, our conditioning, our self-esteem. Our right channel represents the future. It re represents action. It represents planning. It represents thinking, overthinking. And our center channel, which is where we want to be, is a place of balance. It's a place of integration. It's a place for our evolution. And it is the the, um, it is where, when we learn about this beautiful energy that is residing in our sacrum bone, which is known as the Kundalini energy, we allow um, Kundalini to rise through our center chakra, through our center channel, sorry, and move through the seven chakras in our body. We have seven chakras. Um, and each chakra um, has certain qualities and each chakra also governs certain organs in our body. Um, the first chakra is um, located um, in our sacrum bone, just below our sacrum bone, and it is um, known as the Muladhara chakra or the root chakra. It is a support system for all the other chakras, but very importantly, for this beautiful motherly energy that resides there on your sacrum bone, known as the Kundalini energy. <laughs> the Haja Yoga, <coughs> as uh, Sri Mataji says, uh, we are born with this motherly energy. And this is the reason why Sahaja Yoga is so free of charge uh, in over a hundred countries across the world. So, when we open our minds, when we let go of our conditioning, when we have the pure desire, we can learn how to awaken this beautiful, motherly energy, Kundalini. 